This is the view from the helicopter of the Audi factory near the German town of Nikarsen. As you can see, there are huge areas of solar panels on the roof that supply electricity for the entire Audi production process. Now let's look at the production process of the latest versions of the Audi A6 and Audi A7 in Germany. Automobiles have been built for over 100 years at the Audi site in the castle. Driven by innovative ideas, passion, and perfection, this site is transformed from a factory for knitting machines to a modern automobile production plant. Audi AG is one of the largest employers in the Heilbronn-Franken economic region, with 15,710 employees working here for the mobility of the future. The company builds the Audi A4, Audi A5 Cabriolet, Audi A6, Audi A7 and Audi A8, and their derivatives at the roughly 1 million square meter site. Audi AG expanded the plant by approximately 30 additional hectares about 6 kilometers away in the Bollinger Hof Industrial Park in the Heilbronn area. This is the headquarters of Audi Sport GmbH, and the production site for the Audi R8 high-performance sports car, and the fully electric Audi e-tron GT. The Audi A6 is an executive car made by the German automaker Audi. Now in its fifth generation, the successor to the Audi 100 is manufactured in the Karlsruhe, Germany, and is available in saloon and estate configurations, the latter marketed by Audi as the Avant. Audi's internal numbering treats the A6 as a continuation of the Audi 100 lineage, with the initial A6 designated as a member of the C4 series. The related Audi A7 is essentially a sportback, liftback, version of the C7 series and C8 series Audi A6, but is marketed under its own separate identity and model designation. All generations of the Audi A6 have offered either front-wheel drive or torsion-based four-wheel drive, marketed by Audi as their Quattro system. The A6 has also been used as the basis for the company's all-road models since 1999. Both petrol and diesel versions of the A6 are offered. The wide range of engines available have power outputs ranging from 110 to 245 kilowatts. These are inline four-cylinder turbocharged engines, and more powerful 3-liter units in a V6 configuration with a mechanical compressor. The Audi A7 is an executive luxury coupe car produced by Audi since 2010. A five-door liftback, also available as a three-box, four-door sedan in China since 2021. It features a sloping roofline with a steeply raked rear window and integrated trunk lid, forming the so-called sportback, and four frameless doors. You can look forward to a flyby through the production process of the latest Audi A8. The shots start with the construction of the car's body until the final quality control. The Audi A8 is a full-size luxury sedan manufactured and marketed by the German automaker Audi since 1994. Succeeding the Audi V8, and now in its fourth generation, the A8 has been offered with both front or permanent all-wheel drive, and in short and long wheelbase variants. You can look forward to a flyby through the production process of the latest Audi A8. The shots start with the construction of the car's body until the final quality control. Audi is ensuring the increased presence and sporty elegance of the A8. For that reason, the company with the four rings is even more intensively working out the confident and progressive character of the active luxury sedan. The new high-end headlights and taillights inspire with innovative functions and form the apex of the A8's established technology portfolio. The flagship of the brand thereby creates a contemporary and user-oriented experience, whether for passengers or drivers. The enhanced Audi A8 can be ordered in European markets since December 2021. In Germany, the base price for the A8 is now €97,800. With five motorizations, the enhanced Audi A8 offers customers a wide range of drive systems. The product enhancements only minimally change the dimensions of the Audi flagship in the luxury sedan segment. The A8 has a wheelbase of 3.00 meters, length of 5.19 meters, width of 1.95 meters, and height of 1.47 meters. The body of the A8 follows the same principle as the Audi space frame. It is made up of 58% aluminum parts. 
The passenger compartment consists of hot formed steel components, supplemented with an ultra high strength, extremely torsionally rigid rear panel made of a carbon fiber reinforced polymer. Magnesium strut tower bars complete the lightweight construction concept. The body's commanding rigidity lays the foundation for precise handling, excellent comfort, and acoustic tranquility on board. We move to the Audi factory near the German town of Nikarsel. Many Audi models are produced here. The production facilities at the Nikarsel plant include the press shop, steel, and aluminium body shops, paint shop and assembly lines. Other facilities include quality assurance, technical development, tooling, training, dealer training and the service workshop. The arrangement whereby customers have been able to collect their own vehicle from the Nikarsel customer center goes back 15 years. The Audi A2, including a version which does 100 km on only 3 liters of fuel, as well as the A6, A6 Avant, Allroad Quattro, A8 and long wheelbase A8, and the sports models Audi S6, S6 Avant, Audi S8 and RS6 are built here. The Aluminium Center is a special technical development facility at Nicarsal. As far back as 1994, the Audi Group decided to concentrate its expertise in lightweight design at the Aluminium Center. Around 100 employees work on a cross-disciplinary, simultaneous engineering basis on new production techniques and methods as well as aluminium bodies, and optimize products that are already in series production. It strives in particular to optimize material properties, components and processes for the large-scale use of Audi space frame technology. Suppliers, universities, and institutes are also involved in the development process. The first volume production model with an all-aluminium body, the Audi A2, was created at the Aluminium Center. This already represents the second generation of Audi space frame technology. The Audi space frame is a high-strength aluminium frame structure into which the large aluminium panels are integrated, thus assuming a supporting function. The body is around 40% lighter than an equivalent one made from steel, and the car's fuel consumption is thus lower. Audi created the first four-door, three-liter car in the guise of the Audi A2 1.2 TD. I. Audi space frame technology has been further refined and optimized for the new Audi A8. Audi has already built over 200,000 cars with an all-aluminium body, including more than 100,000 of the Audi A8. Lightweight design is moreover finding increasing use in other Audi models, with aluminium components becoming ever more prevalent as an aspect of composite construction, for instance in the front lid of the A6. There are 878 employees in technical development at Nicarsal, 420 industrial workers and 458 employees on a collective pay scale. 278 of them are engineers. As well as the aluminium center, the principal activities of the Nicarsal plant include development work on petrol and diesel engines, sports engines for motor racing, and the development of interior equipment. An entirely new paint shop was opened at Nicarsal in October 2000 following the completion of its third phase. 
The paint shop represents the largest capital investment in the plant's history, at around euros 300 million. Along with the growing product range, and the increasing proportion of aluminium-bodied vehicles, the demands on the paint shop had continued to rise. The third phase of the new paint shop permitted the introduction of segmentation. There are separate operations for each model line. The result was greater flexibility in the filler, top coat and patterns line. The 7,000 square meter paint shop is likewise ideally equipped to adapt to future technologies, including for the protection of the environment. These footages come from the Audi factory near the German city of Zwickau. The Volkswagen Zwickau Mossel plant is an automobile factory, which was founded on 26 September 1990 in today's Zwickau district of Mossel, and together with the Chemnitz plant, and the transparent factory belongs to Volkswagen Saxon based in Zwickau. Audi cars are built here. Currently, the Zwickau plant has about 8,000 employees. Signaling a milestone the last combustion vehicle was produced on 26 June 2020. The Volkswagen brand is pushing ahead with its e-mobility offensive and is gradually creating the production capacity to build over 1.5 million e-cars per year worldwide from 2025. The group's largest and most efficient e-car plant is currently being built in Zwickau. In future, up to 300,000 e-models per year will roll off the production line there. Volkswagen is the world's first volume manufacturer to convert an entire plant from the combustion engine to electric mobility. In the final stage of expansion, six e-models from three group brands will be produced in Zwickau from 2021. Production of the Audi Q4 i-tron has finally started in Zwickau. The fully electric compact model is the first electric SUV to be produced by Audi in Germany. The Q4 i-tron features a Volkswagen-made modular electric drive matrix, a highly versatile and variable platform that is suitable for numerous fully electric models and offers considerable scope for leveraging synergies. Working alongside their colleagues from Volkswagen, more than 100 Audi employees prepared for the start of production, from production planning and technical development through to quality assurance. The press tools for producing the body parts all come from Audi's own tool-making shop. With its expressive design, the Audi Q4 e-tron poses enormous challenges when it comes to precision and surface perfection. Audi toolmakers from Ingolstadt and Ecarcel were involved right from the initial development stages. The process of trying out the press tools, which weigh many tons, also took place in Audi plants. Zwickau and the Audi brand enjoy a long tradition. The Audi car plants were established here in 1909. The Volkswagen plant there has been converted to an all-electric plant, and is now an integral part of the group's electric offensive. In November 2020, more than 200 Audi employees, mainly junior employees who have successfully completed their vocational training, were temporarily deployed to Volkswagen Saxony in Zwickau for a 12-month stint. As part of a human resources hub, they will be given the opportunity to boost their skills and expertise in the pioneering field of electric mobility. The Audi Q4 e-tron will be unveiled to a global audience in the middle of April and launched on the European markets in the summer of 2022. By 2025, Audi plans to launch more than 20 fully electric models and expand its offering. The two main Audi plants in Ingolstadt and Ecarcelm are also set to manufacture fully electric vehicles.
Beginning in 2023, the first electric model based on the premium platform electric, developed jointly with Porsche, will roll off the Ingolstadt assembly line. Production of the Q4 e-tron will be carbon neutral from the start. The Zwickau plant covers its entire energy needs using renewables, and has a highly efficient combined heat and power plant. Audi is also working to further minimize emissions in the value chain. When the Audi Q4 e-tron reaches the end of its life cycle, its battery is to be used in second life concepts, or recycled as a source of raw materials. So now let's look at the production of Audi e-tron GT step by step from start to finish. The Audi e-tron GT is a battery electric executive car produced by Audi since late 2020 as part of the e-tron battery electric sub-brand, and the third fully electric car model, after e-tron and e-tron sportback SUVs. Based on the J1 platform shared with the Porsche staking, the car went on sale in March 2021. The Audi e-tron GT is the first all-electric car from Audi built in Germany. It drives off the assembly line at the Audi Ballinger Hof in the castle. The small series production facility there which has net zero carbon emissions, has been expanded and converted for its new task. Small-scale craftsmanship has been supplemented by digital processes and intelligent technologies. Passion meets precision, innovation, and sustainability. The production of the e-tron GT was designed without physical prototypes, a novelty at Audi. Large areas of the passenger compartment of the all-electric Gran Turismo are constructed from ultra-high-strength steel, and the outer skin is made entirely of aluminum. This material concept differs fundamentally from the Audi space frame of the R8 high-performance sports car and its motorsports derivatives, which are almost entirely built by hand. Therefore, a new body shop for the Audi e-tron GT was set up on the existing floor space. It begins with an ultra-modern body assembly line incorporating 34 robots, that is approximately 85% automated, almost like a conventional volume production line. A total of nine warm and cold joining techniques are used, ranging from resistant spot welding to screws all the way to rivets and bonding. The two-way framer, a large clamping and attachment system, acts as a central station in the body assembly line. During the first pass, this is where the inner side panels are precisely positioned and joined. The outer side panels are attached during the second pass. The framer integrates 10 robots, which use 32 high-tech tools to perform all joining techniques. Between the two passes, and during the work steps, they switch between tools automatically. The body shop is the first station in the production cycle of the new Audi e-tron. This is where the unique design of the first fully electric Audi model gets its shape, as a wide variety of single metal parts are combined with modern materials such as aluminum and ultra-high strength steel. The production process in the body shop is very complex and highly sophisticated. It involves the use of a multitude of joining technologies, such as welding, soldering, clinching, or gluing, in which continuous robotic inline geometry checks are performed, in addition to constant manual quality checks. The finished body of an Audi e-tron counts more than 3.20 welding points, 30 meters of weld seams and 72 meters of high-performance industrial glue. These and many other process steps take place in a highly automated production area including more than 430 robots and 410 conveyor belts. All these processes are supported by an experienced team of 300 people that produce the Audi e-tron in two shifts. These collaborators maintain the different installations, fit body parts together, and guarantee the requested quality standards of the car in the construction of the bodywork. As the first fully electric vehicle of Audi, the Audi e-tron is most certainly an exciting challenge for the body shop team. Thanks to the experience gained in the former production of the Audi A1 and the creativity of our collaborators, we are able to master the cutting-edge technologies and automation concepts that come with the Audi e-tron. 
It is part of our philosophy to never stop questioning and keep on rethinking existing structures. The painting process is long and complex. Before any paint is applied, the vehicle body must first be cleaned and phosphatized. This is necessary to ensure flawless adhesion of the paint later in the process. This layer, the first of four, protects against corrosion and guarantees durability. This involves cathodic dip painting. Since 2016, we have been using a brand new ROD IP pre-treatment. The process for coating delicate areas between the individual body parts with PVC is fully automatic. This also protects the vehicle body from stone chips and corrosion. This is followed by the application of the second layer, the surface, which evens out any remaining blemishes. Next, the base coat is sprayed on, and it is this coat that gives the vehicle its color. The modern application systems use special environmentally friendly technologies to conserve resources. Ergonomically designed workstations alleviate the strain on employees. Finally, the body receives the clear coat, which protects against UV rays and the effects of the weather, but is primarily intended to give the body its shine. The paintwork is then burned in at 140 degrees in the dry coat dryer, ensuring the car has a long and lustrous life. Our paint shop employs around 230 people, who work in two shifts, and who are getting supported by 48 paint robots. The paint shop department has implemented energy-saving measures such as a waste air purification system and a heat pump. These significantly reduce the quantity of resources used, and helps decreasing the heat energy and water consumption per car by 20%. Audi Assembly Hall with its assembly line production is the backbone of the series production. Approximately 1.200 people work here, 900 of which are related to the production, and subdivided into two shifts and 32 teams. A further 300 collaborators support the production. The assembly line is about 1.500 meters long, and is able to accommodate around 250 cars. When the car enters the assembly hall, it takes about 12.5 hours before it leaves the assembly hall once again, and makes its way to the quality department for a final check. Most of the work on the premises in the assembly hall is done manually, partially digital aided. Together with the assembly of the electric SUV of Audi, the Audi e-tron, Audi team at Audi Brussels, implemented essential elements of a modular production, replacing the fixed assembly line principle by flexible workstations. The challenge lies in developing flexible systems for various models which fulfill the highest standards in ergonomics. This way, Audi cooperators' health is protected, and their work is made as convenient and pleasant as possible.
In addition to the body shop, paint shop and assembly plant, Audi Brussels is also home to the modern center of analysis and pre-series. This is where tasks related to technical development and production are centralized within one area of responsibility guaranteeing the high quality standards of the Audi e-tron. At the moment, Audi is here producing approximately 15 Audi e-tron per hour. Since the production volume of the Audi e-tron is currently being increased step by step, priority is given to safety and optimization matters linked to the series production. This enables us to guarantee a cost-efficient production, from the early stage of development on. At Audi, philosophy is that customers should be able to experience quality with all of their senses. This implies to all of Audi models worldwide. Quality assurance at Audi Brussels focuses above all on the general client experience. This may concern very small matters, such as the fittings between the different components. They need to be in complete harmony. Quality matters are very important to our clients. This was the case 10 years ago, and has only increased since. At this factory in Brussels, Audi guarantee quality in all departments, starting with the purchase of car components. Therefore, a good relationship with the suppliers is important to develop new processes to improve quality in the long run. Procedures and product properties developed internally must be submitted to various tests. This belongs to the responsibility of the pre-series quality assurance. The smooth production process of Audi vehicles, checked on a daily basis, provides complementary quality guarantees. An audit or car check involves a whole team of collaborators executing every single day a wide variety of quality tests on randomly chosen cars. These cars must withstand all tests perfectly, before they can resume their way through the factory. Only recently, a brand new test center was set up at Audi Brussels. In this center, each car is verified all over again, before making a test ride and undergoing a visual inspection through the light tunnel. 
Noises, such as the sound of the wind driving behavior, and the quality of the paintwork are checked. It's only after having received a 100% test score that a car is released and confirmed ready for sale. Every day, more than 540 suppliers provide the 14,000 parts and components required to build Audi car bodies. 20 goods wagons and 8 just-in-time contractors transport cubic meters of material directly to assembly hall. All of this requires extensive planning of logistics. One key factor is infrastructure. A state-of-the-art logistics and supplier center, known to audience as Automotive Park, is directly connected to the factory's production halls, with just a bridge separating them. This also guarantees good internal logistics within the plant itself, meaning that each part arrives at the right place at the right time, and every vehicle receives its individual equipment. In addition, the logistics department organizes the transportation of the completed vehicles to the customers.
Audi Brussels began production of the first fully electric SUV from the brand with the four rings in fall 2018. Series production of the Audi e-tron Sportback began in early 2020. Furthermore, the plant in Brussels is the first volume production in the premium segment worldwide to be certified as emissions neutral by independent assessors. Current model series of location, Audi e-tron, Audi e-tron Sportback. The key action supporting climate neutral production at a glance, conversion to green electricity and installation of a large photovoltaic system, 107,000 square meters, heat supply to the site using renewable energies covered by certificates for biogas, and compensation for currently unavoidable emissions by certified carbon credit projects. These three pillars, accompanied by other measures, provide the blueprint for decarbonizing the other sites as well. Audi has announced that it has rolled out the 8 millionth car from the assembly line at Audi Brussels which the company likes to call a factory of the future. This production site was founded in 1949. The 8 millionth car to roll out from the Brussels plant is an Audi e-tron in metallic glacier white. This jubilee car will now become part of Audi's extensive historical car collection in Brussels. For instance, in body construction, they experience how people and robots work harmoniously together and provide perfect welding, soldering, and bonding. In final assembly, streaming guests can see how over 1,000 parts are assembled on a belt that is more than a kilometer long. That is followed by a look at the mechanics, where the powertrain and the battery come together. Lastly, there is a final quality test, when all the functions and gap dimensions are checked again. For its look of production, Audi Brussels has saved its high-voltage battery manufacturing facility, the location's showpiece and unique feature, for the finale. Each battery seals, electric functions, and, of course, power are checked.
The RS models from Audi Sport are the dynamic spearheads of their respective product lines. They have a strong character that consists of distinct design differentiation, full everyday usability, effortless top performance, and a thrilling driving experience. This results from a relentless focus on minute details by the designers and development and test engineers, and it is perfected over numerous test drives around the world. There is a behind-the-scenes look at development work. All RS models are processed on shared systems with their sister models. The Audi Press shop supplied the specific sheet metal parts made of steel, or, in many cases, aluminum that are then assembled in the body shop. The marriage, that is the assembly station, where the suspension and drivetrain are joined with the body, is very challenging in the case of the models with the V8 engine in particular. Audi RS specific parts such as the exhaust system, bumpers, rear aprons, and wheels complete the RS models. The Audi AG plant in Ingolstadt covers the entire process of automobile production, from development to the finished automobile. Cornerstones at the site are technical development, production, logistics, quality assurance, and environmental protection. Efficient production systems and the use of new high-tech solutions are the basis for the future vision of fully connected, digitalized production. Audi is synonymous with the highest quality standards, including in times of change as it transforms into a mobility provider.